Hi guys, my name's Mitz and um, I'm going to show you how to remove a previous owner from a laptop or a computer. Now this way I'm going to do this uh, could work for Windows 11, Windows 10, uh, even back to Windows XP. So I know some people are still using Windows XP, I don't know how but that's what they're doing and um, you can remove the previous owner's details and make it personal, make the computer personal. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tips. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to remove a user account if you've got a second-hand computer or you just wanna delete someone's account. So, uh, make sure you don't delete your administrator account. Make sure you don't delete the account you're using right now. So I'm logged into a, an account called MITS, so I don't want to delete that. Uh, don't delete the default accounts, okay? So just delete the thing, the one where it says um, the old username, or you can recognize who it is. Alright, so let's press the win key and the little letter R on the keyboard for the run box to come up here. And now we want to type in CMD. And we want to open it as an administrator, so we want to press on the keyboard again, we want to press um, the shift, control and enter key at the same time. So you need two hands for that one, so the shift, control and enter at the same time and when that happens you press yes so um, it's asking you do you want to open it up as an administrator so now we're in here and as an administrator because we're in Windows slash system 32 okay so net user and then press enter now this gives us a list of the accounts there we go so we've got the default accounts, the Jara account or the CASA account. Now the thing is, it'll probably delete their, uh, the stuff that's in there as well. So you just have to make sure that you really want to do that. So I'm going to show you, actually there's one more way. Uh, let me paste this in. WMIC user account get name. It's just another way of doing this but actually this one's way easier net user so let's press enter so there we go it gives you the accounts like that so now we I'm going to show you how to delete an account so I'm not going to delete an account today but I'm just going to quickly show you how to do it net so you just click on there to make sure you can type so we go net net user space then you type the exact name of the account up here so you know any of the names up there whichever one you want but I'll just call it user account so that would be whichever is up there that you want to get deleted then press a slash and then press delete there we go press enter and that will delete the account for you okay so that's it all right, so let's go on to the next one. Okay, here's another way to delete a user account. We're going to open the run box again, so Windows and R on the keyboard. Then we're going to type in net p l w i z. Okay, and press OK. And it takes you straight to the user accounts right there. So now you can just press on an account. So you you don't it doesn't show the other accounts here this is uh, more user interface <laughs> friendly or whatever um, so click on which one you want to remove press remove and it says you chose to remove this from the computer blah 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 are you sure you want to remove it uh, press yes okay so there we go it's gone all right and then just press OK and you're out of there it's done we can also change the computer name because some people have put their name as the computer name or you just want to 
name it to make it uh, your own. So what we want to do is we want to open settings by pressing the win key and the letter I and we're going to go to system and then scroll down the bottom to about and just in here it's got a weird name that uh, it just says rename the PC and right up here in the top corner press on that we'll just call it Mitz's just Mitz computer just for fun press next okay so it doesn't like <laughs> you have to have a hyphen so let's just put a hyphen in there there we go press next now there we go so I'm just going to press restart later but after you've restarted then you come back and you'll see that this has changed The next one is um, we're going to change the registered owner of the computer. So what we're going to do is go into the registry. Now you can't make mistakes in the registry so you're going to have to be very careful on what you touch and what you change. So take it very seriously because you could crash your computer. So what we're going to do is press window key and R again. We're going through this again. And we want to go to reg edit. Reg edit, which is going to take us to the registry so we can edit it. Now we we should open this as a uh, administrator. So we're not going to press OK. We're going to press the shift control and enter again. And then quickly press yes and then we're going to have the registry open. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just get rid of this just so we can show you how to get there. Alright, so this is what the registry looks like when you first get there if you haven't been there before. But what you just saw was because I've already been in here it'll leave it like it is. How you leave it, that's how it looks. So what we're going to do is press on computer. We're going to go to this one, H key local machine. Just press on that little arrow and it opens it up. Now we're going to go to software and we're going to scroll down. Actually Microsoft is already open. So Microsoft. Then we're going to scroll down to Windows NT. So we're in Windows NT, then current version. When actually, we're not going to open current version, we're just going to press on it here. So make it blue, and what you, happens is all the information comes up over on the other side. So now we want to look for registered owner, which is right here. And what we're going to do is right click on it and say modify. Now this box is going to come up and it's going to let me change the registered owner's name. So all you have to do is type in what your name is. So, you know, Bob could have owned the computer before. So if Bob's name's in there, you want to put your name in there. Press OK and that's it. It'll change it. You can also change the registered organisation here. So. Uh, they've got HP in there so let's right click on it modify let's modify it so we'll put the website of website name dot dot slash slash www dot tech tips no no that's not it <laughs> tech pc tips dot com Okay, press OK. Alright, there it is there. Okay, so that one changed straight away, but uh, you do need to restart your computer to get everything else in order. So the, the computer name and stuff like that. Alright, that's about it. Now you've changed the name, you've 
removed uh, any user accounts that were there and you change the registered owner and the organisation. So you should be good to go. Alright, thanks for watching.